This is a home weight loss workout. Now, if you just start marching on the spot for me, so it's a bit of a warm up and I'll quickly explain how it works. So you have an option. You're either gonna do a light walk or a jog for 30 seconds and we go into doing one minute of full body moves. So we're gonna keep alternating. So this workout is suitable for beginners or intermediate. Remember, you're just marching on the spot at the moment. So today we're gonna do lots of multi-directional moves. This is where we're gonna increase your calorie burn. I'm gonna be toning you up all over. It's going to increase, as I said, your metabolism. So this is suitable for absolutely everyone. You don't need any equipment. It's going to work on your health, your fitness, your body shape, and your mind. All right. Now, the first exercise, we're not going to start until we see the timer come up. We're going to start with just doing. So let's just take that up now. Now, you've got an option. You've got 30 seconds. If you want to, you can follow on the left. You can just be walking on the spot, walk around the room, march lightly, or if you want to, you can do light jogging. The option is up to you. You can keep changing. You might want to do 10 seconds walking, 10 seconds light jogging. And then from that, you're going to get a 15 second preview where I show you then what the next move is. So let's go three, take it two and one. So your next move is now, we're gonna be standing on one leg, just lifting one leg out to the side. If you find this hard for balance, just place one hand on a chair or by the wall. So let's get ready to come into position. Do make sure your standing leg is slightly bent. Okay, so let's go 30 seconds, one leg. So you've got that supporting leg, as I said, that's slightly bent. Just lift that leg up as high as it will go. It doesn't matter if it doesn't come up as high as mine. Just lift it to what feels comfortable for you. Now, the benefit here, we're working balance. We're also now really toning both legs. You're working your standing leg as, lo as well as the leg you are lifting out to the side. Also, really keep those tummy muscles tight. So we're working through those core muscles. Let's change now, 30 seconds on that opposite leg. And don't forget, if you're on Instagram, definitely come and find me at Lucy Windham Reed because I post up daily tips and workouts. And then also you can update me on your progress. All right, let's keep that going. So you've got another 16 seconds. We're not doing any repeaters other than doing the walking and the jogging. So again, you choose what you want to do. But as I said, this is just going to be such a good longer workout because I know a lot of you guys on YouTube ask for these longer ones, which is why I've given you just that. All right, let's bring it straight back now. So you've got 30 seconds. Now again, you could be just marching around the room, walking on the spot or doing a light little bit of jogging. It's gonna keep that heart rate up. You've got the timer and then you're gonna get a 15 second preview of the next move coming up. So just keep thinking of all the benefits why we do these workouts. You're investing in your health, your fit, fitness and your well-being. Let's just go last five seconds from now. Four, take it three two and one. So just keep marching and just look at the next move. So you step behind and we're going to draw the arms back. So we're going to do where we do four steps behind and then we're going to do four knee lifts up. So we're going to alternate four steps behind. So you're going to step it back for four, come up, take the foot behind, keep the tummy tight, pull the arms back and we're going to go one more. And then let's bring it now straight to that knee lift coming up. So we're just doing that for one minute. All right. Now the benefit here, I am toning you all over. I'm toning your lower body. I'm toning literally your arms, your abs, absolutely everything. Let's keep that going. So you're doing a ratio of four and four. So then it's four knees, up come the knees, keep the tummy tight. And just to let you know, I've got launching on December the 26th my 21 day online weight loss course. Now I've designed these so they focus on the three things, mindset, nutrition and exercise. These are gonna be available at lwrfitness.com and there is one specifically for men, one specifically for women. These have workouts from YouTube, but also they've got specially created workouts from my website that you get access to on the course. But you can email me for more details, three, two, and one. So now bring it straight back. So you're back to doing that jog around the room, high knees on the spot, marching on the spot, star jumps, just keep moving, all right? So I really want today's workout to fly by for you. As your online trainer, it's about getting you healthy and fit. And as said, I know a lot of my workouts are shorter workouts, but I do get quite a few people just asking. They like doing the longer ones, which is why I wanted to put this longer one together for you. Let's go four, take it three, 
two and one. All right, so next move coming up, I want you to be standing in a plie squat. So stand nice and wide, your toes are out to a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna come down, and then we're gonna alternate with doing heel lifts as well. So just come into that first position, and so you're just gonna bend through the legs. So keep your upper body nice and straight for me. So you're gonna come down, and we're just bringing the arms down a little bit to chest and up to kind of underneath the chin. That's good, and we've just got a few motivational before and afters, keeping that going, that's good. So just bend low. Now, this time, let's take one heel up and just do tiny, tiny pulses. So what I'm doing now, I'm working more through the inner thigh. Now take that for five seconds to the other leg. That's good. And now let's bring it straight back now to doing those plies. And just drop the arms a little bit, then come back up. Keep your upper body nice and straight. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight. That's good. And just check out these real results. This is what happens when you apply the right nutrition, the right mindset, and the right exercise. That's good. And for those last 10 seconds, let's take one heel up for five, just squatting a little bit lower, just to really activate that inner thigh muscle. Four, let's go three, two, and one. All right, bring it straight back now. So you can see how today's workout works. And what I think is really good is actually not having where we're at within the whole workout. Let's just have these little stopwatches for each of the different exercises. Because um, I think sometimes if it's 30 minutes and you think, oh my God, it's gonna take forever, this way it's gonna just fly by. And do let me know if you like that in the comments down below because at the end of the day, I want to give you the workouts you want. All right, and let's go three, take it two and one. So your next move coming up, this time now, you're gonna step for four, and then step behind for four, but we're doing sort of like a little mini side lunge and then a toe tap in front, a crossover tap on there, so for four. So we're gonna add that now. So four steps in front, and then you're gonna step it back and back. So it's a little bit like a curtsy for four and just keep traveling that across. So again with this one, we're working multi-directional and working your entire body. This is how we're gonna really increase your calorie burn. Again, here are some more results. 2018 has just been an incredible year for my um, online community, Lucy Squad. You are just growing and getting fitter and healthier. It's just amazing. All right, let's keep that going. You've got last 30 seconds, so draw that leg over. And these are great for your balance, flexibility. Remember, fitness isn't just about being able to exercise. It's about coordination. It's about agility, endurance, stamina, strength. It's about your mind. It's about coordination, everything. And that's where these workouts tick all those boxes. And you've got last 10 seconds, nine, let's go eight, take that seven, six, and last five, four, and do those little curtsies, three, two, and one. All right, well done, so bring that straight back. And again, you might want to do the next 30 seconds where you're gonna jog, this 30 seconds, you're just marching around the room. You can march on the spot or walk around the room. You know, do some shoulder raises, just keep that body moving. This is what this is all about. And you've got your last 10 seconds coming up from now. Okay, that's good. And of course, next time you come back and do this workout, you don't need to listen to me talking. You can turn the volume down and put on your favorite shoes. So next move coming up, Imagine you're doing like a little squat and you're perhaps bending underneath a fence or something, then you're gonna reach nice and tall. So step it across and reach up. So this one here, again, a multi-compound move, multi-directional, so step low, reach up, step low and travel that across. And again, you're just doing this for one minute. So it's a little bend. And if you want to work harder, just bend, a, even take it into a deeper bend and step even wider across on there. That's good. You know, and as a trainer, I know people get bored when I keep saying how many years experience, but I think it's really important. There are so many different workouts on YouTube. It's important to know that your trainer is qualified, you know, and they have got years experience because, you know, Fitness is important, it's important you get it right because then you don't get the injuries and also if you get it right, that's when you then also get the results. And you also, if they're a qualified trainer, will tell you you don't need to buy any protein shakes, any nonsense, you can do it all at home without any equipment. All right, that's good. And last 10 seconds, let's just keep that going. So reach it up, travel it across, and four, let's go three, Take it two and one. All right, bring that straight back. So you choose that move. You've just got 30 seconds 
do make sure if you are doing the light jogging on the spot, just land really softly. And someone asked the other day, what does that mean? Just, you know, if you think about it, you could just jump really high and heavy and land on the floor instead. Just keep it nice and light. That's good. And we're using the arms with both these moves. So, you know, this is where it's still a full body move and we're keeping that heart rate up. So we're working your cardiovascular system. So next move coming up, this time we're gonna do a side lift, a bit like we did at the beginning, but we're gonna have a little mini squat in between. So we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna lift from one side to the other. And you can add in some arms when you feel a bit more confident with the move. If you're not so good with balance, do this perhaps by a table, chair, so you can just have your hands in front just for support and just lift those legs out to the side. That's good. So just keeping that going. You know, and a lot of people ask, you know, advice on weight loss. One of the most important things, which I really stress, is it's about mindset. You have to believe you're going to achieve. You have to visualize. You have to make things happen now. And that's something actually very much that I talk about on my online course. You know, that often gets overlooked. Yet, yeah, if you think about it, your mind dictates everything you do. So if you haven't got the right mindset, you're always set for failure. So by defaulting your mind to saying, yes, I can, that's how you get those results. All right, that's good. We've got the last 15 seconds. So you will feel this down the inside and outside of those thighs. Plus you're working through the arms, you're working through those abs. But remember, every time you work out, you are investing in your health. And let's go four, take it three, go two, and then one. All right, so let's bring that back. Light jog or take that to that march on the spot. That's good, keeping that going. So if you are doing the marching on the spot, what I want you to do is focus, let's do it with really good posture so we can work on posture. So imagine I've just dropped an ice cube down your back, pull your shoulders back, your chest is lifted, tummy is pulled in so we're activating those abdominal muscles at the same time you're landing nice and softly we've got four seconds let's go three take it two and one okay next move coming up so this one we're going to do toe taps in front and then we're going to add the arms up at the same time so we're going to push your arms up do a toe tap and then we're going to take the arms out to the side and we're going to extend the arms out to the side so let's just go for doing that so the toe taps come in front push up through the arms. So again here, working lots of different muscle groups and I'm trying to make the routines fun for you. So every 10 seconds, we'll just change that. So now let's take it so the arms are coming out and we're just doing that side toe tap. So leg is coming out to the side, then push the arms up. So do these every time 10 seconds. That's good and keep changing. And the good thing is with this, you know, it gets your mind thinking. So now let's take that back across. So it's the foot comes out from one side. And as I always say, your body works in three different planes of motion. Forwards and backwards is considered one. Then you've got lateral, sideways, and then you've also got rotational. And throughout all my workouts, I always make sure we engage all three of them, um, which is essential if you want real results. All right, we're nearly done. Let's just keep that going, taking that leg out to the side, extend those arms out. Keep the tummy in, pulled in tight, two and one. So bring it back, so you choose. If you want to work a little bit harder, follow me on the right, go for doing that jog, land softly. You can be jogging around your room or just doing light jogging on the spot. Or if you want to, you can go really fast, go for high knees and then you can also just be following on the left doing that marching on the spot. Okay, last 10 seconds. And we are really flying through this workout so quickly doing really well, let's go three, take it two and one. So let's have a look, next move coming up, we're just gonna do a little step back and we're gonna do an open arm flyer. So this time have your arms fully extended straight out in front, have your palms facing down and you're just gonna alternate from one foot, take it back to the other, that's good. And so it's just a quick little tap back and then bring the arms back in front. Again, we're just gonna keep going with that, that's good. And what I would say as well is, if you want to, you can always um, go to my website for my eBooks and then I've got my blogs. Um, so I've got lots of blogs on motivation, you know, how to stay healthy and fit, talking about nutrition. These are all available at lwrfitness.com. That's good, so we're just gonna keep that going. And squeezing that through, just toe tapping, take that toe behind and squeeze it back, that's good. And if you can, really aim to keep your hands at shoulder height. I know it's really hard now, you'll be feeling that burn, but remember, 
If it feels too much, just take the arms down to the side, but it's that point of challenge is when you really then get results. That's why we need to always push ourselves because that's how we get stronger. And let's go last five seconds from now. Five, let's take it four, go three, two and one all right well done so let's bring that straight back and let me tell you you are well over halfway today so we are on that home straight coming back feel amazing and feel proud you should feel both of those is what i'm trying to say basically the fact you're here and doing this workout you are investing in the most important thing which is your health and your mental well-being let's go for another 10 seconds and you'll see your next move coming up so let's just keep going if you're doing the marching pull those shoulders back for me chest lifted let's work walk with a perfect posture two and one so next move this time now we're just going to take your arms directly up this time so we're doing a different arm movement and we're just doing a little faster toe tap back so have your palms facing in and just imagine it's as if you're perhaps lifting a big box and putting it up on a shelf so let's get ready to push that up so here, let's think about where you are working. So you are toning through your legs, through your thighs, through your abdominals, through your arms, through your abdominals. We're also, with that impact, this is how we're still strengthening through your bones. A lot of people say to me, why don't you use weights? Well, we do use weights because we use body weight. We just don't choose to lift heavy iron weights. You know, body weight exercise, because we work on endurance, is just as powerful, super effective. So you're still going to tone and sculpt. All right, and also it just makes it more convenient. So now we're just gonna change the arms slightly. Imagine now you're just pushing a door closed in front. So now we've changed the position of your palms. Your palms are facing directly forwards. So now working a little bit more through the biceps and the triceps, I'm just changing the area that I'm working on your arms. That's good, and you've got last 10 seconds. So these are cardio toning moves. This is how we're gonna strip body fat. We are gonna tone up at the same time and increase your metabolism to and one. All right, well done. So you could also even add in, as long as no one's watching, a little bit of crazy dancing, just whatever. We're just keeping that cardio up. So land softly if you are doing the jogging, if you're doing the marching on the spot, remember, keep those shoulders pulled back for me, your chest is lifted, tummy muscles pulled in tight, and we've got last 10 seconds to go good and let's count you down from the last five let's go four three two and one so this is your next move coming up still marching we are going to do straight leg kicks and then we're going to do four tap toes out to the side and travel back so travel forwards for four and then you're going to travel back by doing a lateral side step so four in front bring the opposite hand to the foot and then travel that back for four taking either foot out to the side that's good and as said I really like to try and get creative with these workouts for you so um, I'm trying to always come up with new moves and don't forget, if you are looking at healthy weight loss, remember nutrition is key and I do have my two healthy eating books and these are full of really easy and quick recipes. They're less about cooking, they're more just about quick ideas you can put something together in the kitchen that are just going to help you make healthy food choices. Um, so there's not loads of preparing, none of the dishes take an hour, they are all super quick easy ideas um, and those are both obviously available on my website. All right, let's just keep going and you've got last 10 seconds coming up now. So just feel that you're working the arms, the legs, the abs. Again, it's a full body toning move and let's go three, take that two and one. All right, so bring in that straight back now. So it's these little bursts. So today is very much, we do 30 seconds of doing that walking or if you want to, like jogging. And then we do one minute of cardio toning, as simple as that. And we keep alternating what that one minute workout is. That's why it's gonna fly by. And before you know it, you'll have finished it and feel amazing. All right, so let's get ready for those last five seconds and you'll get a preview of your next move coming up. Three, two, and one. So next move, this one is we are gonna do some power punch is in front and then we're going to do two knee crunches so go for eight power punches punch really hard in front fast move and then go for doing um, two knee lifts do it to your own time or you can follow me um, so you're going really fast eight punches and then draw that knee up draw the arms down at the same time so this one here this is really good this is actually one of my favorite moves at the moment because it's really good cardio 
it's low impact but it's still high intensity. It's multi-directional because you're doing a twist, it's also a little bit lateral and press you're bringing that leg upwards so it's doing a forward and backward motion. You're also engaging through the waist so this is really lovely for shaping through your abs, for stripping belly fat, it does literally everything and it's a really good one if you're a little bit stressed. So it's a great exercise, that's good, and keeping that going. And that's where today's workout is suitable for everyone because if there are any really high intensity moves like doing the jogging, that's where I'm saying you can do the walking. So these are suitable for absolutely everyone. Let's go last 10 seconds, that's good. And really pull that knee up, so that's like doing an ab crunch, and this is like toning the waist at the same time, two and one. All right, we're done. So bringing that straight back again, just land softly. And don't forget, do keep me updated on your results. Um, I have a before and after page, which is getting so many amazing transformations. If you want to be on there, you can um, send send us details, just a picture, a little kind of testimonial, um, your journey, and then you can just send those to info at lwrfitness.com to be featured on that page. And let's go for take it three, two, and one. All right, so next move coming up, this time now, arms are directly above, and imagine you're now pulling something down, all right, so we're stepping that foot back. So this one here, again, is a total body move. And so we're going to draw the arms down. So arms directly above the head, pull that down. So we're just stepping that foot back, your palms face in, draw the arms down. And what we're going to do just before when we get to 40 seconds, or a couple of seconds before, I'm get, going to get you to stand still and just imagine you're running and just mimic the arm movement you would do. So let's just hold it still now and just imagine you're sprinting with your arms. We're just going to do this literally just for 10 seconds and we're going to go straight back to that move. So we're just alternating and now bring it straight back. That's good. And we're going to do the same when we reach 10 seconds. We'll do that arm move as well. And as I said, I just want to make these workouts really fly by for you. I think so many workouts can just be boring. They're too long. So that's where I want to keep mixing stuff up. Plus it works you harder as well. All right. And let's go three, take it two and one. Let's get ready. And now sprint with those arms. You can see the end of that race. Imagine you are running with your arms as fast as you can. And let's go five, take it four, go three, two and one all right well done so let's bring that straight back march on the spot or take that to that light jog and we haven't got long to go on today's workout now remember if you need to you can always hit the pause button if you want to grab some water or if you want a little bit of a rest this is the beauty of doing these workouts at home on demand you can do these whenever you want if you want to have a little breather if you want to just pause it whatever um but one thing for sure, you've got to stick with me to the end on there, all right, because we don't quit, two and one. All right, so next move coming up, this time now, we're going to do knee lifts, and then we're going to do a push back, knee lift, knee lift, push back, and push back. So this one here, this quick transition from having the knee in front, then stepping back, is actually really amazing to work through your obliques through your um, transverse abdominis through the rectus abdomen so it's a really good standing ab workout and push those arms in front knee up knee up and again this is cardio so we are doing these cardio tone and this is where you know so many people waste time doing the plank and the plank is such a waste of time whereas you're much better off standing up doing these exercises use a functional training you are stripping belly fat and toning the abs and challenging your body at the same time you know it's like you see these people um standing there and they, they buy these things that are patches you stick on your tummy that they make out they give you a six pack what a load of nonsense there is no shortcut let me tell you it's like the only way to do it the more you move the more you challenge yourself that is the only way to really get results you know our bodies are amazing use them the right way you don't need anything else and that's a promise all right let's go last 10 seconds doing really well push it in front in front knee up knee up tummy stays tight keep focusing on that end goal you are going to get to and one all right bring that straight back you choose you're either doing your light jog or you're marching on the spot shoulders are pulled back and keep thinking of how you are in investing in the most important muscle you've got you're investing in your heart health you're investing in your brain health exercise is literally the medicine to everything it fights off depression anxiety it helps you sleep it reduces aging or reduces the signs of aging um it reduces blood pressure cholesterol everything it's just win 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 all right so next move coming up this time now 
get used to doing the leg movement, then you can bring in the arms. So we're just literally doing a side traveling steps. You bring that foot in front, travel it across, and then add in the arms. So this one is a bit of a tough one for coordination. So just follow what I'm doing with my feet to start with. If you find it too hard, just do side steps. When you're ready, you can add in the arms. Your palms are facing down, so it's just literally a crossover step from one side to the other. So what I'm doing here, I'm working again, laterally, it's all about doing those multi-directional moves and doing multi-compound moves. So we're working lots of muscle groups all at once. Okay, that's good. We just got 30 seconds to go. If you find it a bit, the coordination too much on this one, just take out the arms, have your hands on your hips, just do side steps. But you know, just keep going at it. It's like sometimes things aren't easy to start with, but perseverance is what pays off. So keep going. That's good. And we've just got last 15 seconds coming up from now. Doing really well. And we've got last 10, nine. And let's get eight, take that seven six, five, and four, go last three, two, and one. Amazing, well done. So bringing that straight back now, again, you might wanna bring it back to a walk around the room, high knees on the spot, jogging on the spot, crazy dancing, you could even do 10 seconds now of star jumps, just keep that going, keep that moving, and if you need to, you can always hit that pause button for some water. All right, that's good. And then let's count you down now from those last five seconds and then we can see what next move we have coming up for you. So it's all a surprise. You don't know what's coming up next. Two and one. So next one, arms are directly in front and you're, and you're just going to step one foot back. Then we're going to occasionally, we're going to do a step out and a half star jump. So you've got to be really focused and then we're going to quickly do a transitional change. So we're going to start off, arms come in front. So this is going to get you really focusing and watch for when I change the exercise, you've got to quickly change with me. So palms are facing in. So this is going to really work on how quickly you can coordinate that move. That's good. And so we're just going to step that foot back, tummy stays tight, and then just watch when I change. Okay, so you're going to change with me. Quickly bring that arm up and over. So this now is a half star jump. So we're working again all those different planes of motion. I said to you we've got the three of them, and we're working on those throughout today's workout. And let's change that straight back. Palms are in front, arms coming straight up. So you're working your lower body, you're working your middle body, and you're working your upper body with this one. That's good. And keep watching. As soon as I change, you follow and do that with me as well. And this one is just I want to see how quickly you react with coordination and take that up. That's good. All right, well done. And that's actually a really good exercise in itself by quickly changing your motion. All right, bring it straight back. You've got 30 seconds. We haven't got long to go on today's workout. So you've done so well to get this far. Let's just keep going to the end. And um, we've got last 20 seconds. So again, you choose the move. If you're a beginner, just stick with doing the marching on the spot, land nice and softly. That's good. And you've got last 10 seconds. And let's go four, take it three, two, and one. So next move coming up, this time now, we're just gonna do a little hamstring squeeze behind. And again, we're working through with the arms. So your palms are facing in, and then we're gonna go back to doing that running arm move as well. And believe it or not, that one's really amazing to work your abs. So let's start with doing this. So we're gonna do a little hamstring curl and then add in the arms, and you're gonna get ready to change. As soon as I change, I want you to change as quickly as you can with me to those running arms. And remember the running arms, you're gonna stand in a um, split stance, so feet a hip width distance apart, and now let's take that quickly, sprint with those arms as fast as you can. Keep those tummy muscles tight, so the only joints you're moving here are your shoulders and your elbows, everything else is staying still. And then bring it straight back now to that hamstring squeeze, bring the arms back for me as well. Tummy stays tight and you're working through the legs and get ready. When I change, I want you to change with me as well. Do it as quickly as you can. See if you can do it at the same time. The second you see me change that position and there we go and let's do it. And we are going to sprint the whole way now. Keep going really fast with those arms. This still really works a heart. Still a cardio move. That's good and obviously it's amazing shaping through your arms. All right and bring that back now. 30 seconds. 
And the good news is we are nearly finished. We've got the last move coming up, which is gonna be a little bit different, and we're gonna finish on doing a ab move. So you could either do this one seated or standing, and we're doing it for a slightly shorter duration. But let's just keep going this bit. We got 10 seconds, doing really, really well. You've nearly finished today's workout. Let's go five, take it four, go three, two and one. So next move coming up, if you want to, you can come down into a seated position on the floor or you can do this standing up. So you choose, you could also do this sitting on a chair or a sofa. Um, you're just gonna lean slightly back, tummy is tight. So choose your position and with this one or you could do the standing and we're just doing it 45 seconds. So this is gonna bring your heart rate back down. Now we are just working through the waist. As said, you could do the one where I'm seated on the floor. You could do that just on a sofa, just leaning slightly back. Or if you're standing, make sure that you keep those hips facing forwards. You're just doing that rotation through the upper body. So that is working through your waist. Keep the knees slightly bent, that's good. And you've got the last 20 seconds to go. Really good, keeping that going, nice control, reach that round. So this one here where I'm really focusing on working is your internal and external obliques. I'm working through those core muscles. Again, these are the sort of exercises we want to be doing instead of the plank. And let's go three and two and one. And guess what? That is your workout done. So a massive high five from me to you. What I want you to do is if you need to, you can hit that pause button now and just go and grab some water. And then when you're ready, we'll go straight into doing stretching. So first stretch we're gonna do, calf stretch. It is important to do these, especially after doing training for that long today. Um, just feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg. So today's workout was a long one. I traditionally do shorter workouts, but the reason why I do this is as my subscribers is growing, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys all that you want. And a lot of you had just asked for slightly longer workouts, so um, that's why you got this. And let's just take that now to that other leg, just feel that through the back of the lower leg, feel that through the calf muscle. And as I always say, you know, stretching is really important. It helps realign the body, you know, and it's just nice just to take a little time, just reflect on how you've invested in your health because that is what you've just done. Let's just take that opposite leg in front. So where we're stretching now, we are stretching through the hamstring. That's the muscle at the back of the upper thigh attached from the knee up to the bottom. Have the toes slightly pointing up, hands are on that bent leg and really make sure you feel that stretch. And um, if the hamstrings are a little bit tight, that's often when we can get pressure through the back. So that's where it's really important to stretch these out. So again, bring that foot in front for that stretch where I've just pointed and just toes are slightly lifted. Holding that there. And as said, if there are specific areas, if you want more in-depth training, I do do my online one-to-one -one training. I've also got all my audio books and audio downloads. I've got over 50 different products now. Um, let's take that to that quadriceps stretch, make sure you're supporting me slightly bent. So I've got something there for everyone. I've got um, an ebook if people are perhaps have a disability or if they're wheelchair bound, I've got literally something for everyone. Postnatal, there is, everyone is sorted. And not to forget, now I've got my men's 21 day online weight course. As said, that's all about healthy eating. It's about home fat workouts. And then there's one designed for women. So these are now, will they be available 26th of December, 2018. I shall put links for everything in the description box down below. Now this next stretch, come as if you're coming into a lunge for me and just feel this. So just stretching now a little bit through your hip flexor, push the hip forward. It's a bit of a tricky stretch here, but it's really good and because we've done so long today it's just important to just stretch those out let's take that to the opposite leg so you bend down like you're doing a lunge then you tilt that pelvic area forward and just feel that stretch and if you did like today's video then please um if you can share it and just help this channel grow then the more i get then the more videos i can give you guys it's just you know incredible your help and support i appreciate so much you know and share it on places like facebook pinterest twitter and instagram and do tag me in instagram let me know on your stories take a picture if you've been doing your workout then i can share it on my insta stories and don't forget um, hashtag Lucy's squad that community on Facebook closed group is really lovely if you want to network with other people on this journey get support then that's the place you want to go as well 
All right, just feel those stretches through there. Just feel that through your upper body. So if you like these longer workouts, you could do this workout perhaps two or three times a week, and then you could do some of my seven minute hit workouts. I've got lots of these um, indoor walking workouts. You've got plenty to choose from. I will stick this on a playlist as well. Let's just do a nice side stretch. So they're then easy for you to locate on my YouTube channel. Just take that over to the other side. And really well done today. You should feel super proud you've done this. Um, I'm proud of you for doing that. If you liked today's video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget, I said I've got, in fact, it says 40, but I know I've got 50 now books and online courses all available on my website. So head there. And if you've got any comments, let me know in the comments down below. And if you've got any suggestions on new workouts that you want, and also, do you like the fact that there isn't a main clock on there? Would you prefer it if you had that? Or do you like the little stopwatch so you just know what how long you've got on each specific workout? But most of all, well done for today's workout. And if you're not ready, definitely hit that subscribe button and let me be your online trainer. And I'll see you back on my channel very soon.